Hey everybody, this is Paul here with another Star Made Fleet review, and today we have Schnellbeer's uh, first fleet. So let's jump right in, take a look at it. Um, sorry, there's been a little uh, couple days, I think, maybe a couple days. Uh, I don't know when I'll upload this between the videos, but uh, yeah, I will be completing them shortly, hopefully. So yeah, this is a really, really awesome fleet. Um, I'm loving the detailing work. Um, and the shapes of the ship, uh, etc. Especially this one with these guns sticking out. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, really cool. Especially these like sort of fins off here. And yeah, there are even more in the back. Wow, these engines are really cool. Yeah, nice cool uh, color of the engines. Something that's sometimes fun to do is... Uh, uh, excuse me to make the engines a different color than the rest of your ship uh, Then then that adds sort of some some different uh, Vibes to the ship that sometimes are good uh, But but yeah this armor plating really cool these pipes um, also very cool is this I don't I don't know if that like comes off but that would be pretty cool if it does because uh, you have like the same canister here um, but yeah, uh, really loving the exterior, awesome detailing, and the turrets are really cool too. The turrets, uh, fit seamlessly almost into, uh, the whole of this ship. Uh, so awesome, awesome props, awesome props for that. Um, and let's, let's head on inside. Um, where is the door? Um, hmm. Yeah, something I want to point out is just specifically how these armor plates are done, actually, I guess. So you have the shape of the ship, um, and then they're basically the same as these fins, but just along the slope of the, uh, of the shape of the ship. Um, and so because then they're all lifted off of the ship, uh, they look really, really, really good. Hmm, I don't know where the door is. This this problem plagues me often though, so I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Uh Oh man. <laughs> uh Let's let's I'm just going to cheat. Okay, so we have a cockpit. Uh and yeah, this is a really really clean um interior. So it's really good work with that. Um, I don't know what these buttons are. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around here uh, to see if those buttons do anything. Um, uh, let me jump there. No. Okay. What happened? Uh, and will I get will I get out? This is a, for some reason the like never like press up to get out of a structure. That never works for me. I just have to like keep jumping around. Um, Oh wait, I can't go in astronaut mode because I don't know where the door is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is not fun. Oh well. Oh well. Watch, it's gonna be someplace obvious when I get inside. Um. So let's let's pass over here. It'd be nice if these doors were a little framed. Um. But that that's fine. I really like the ceiling with like the the brief blue colors uh, in the ceiling. So we have bunks over here with some cargo space, uh, good and simple. We have a shower. I was about to say a transporter room, but then I was like, nope, that, that looks like a shower. Um, and then we have, um, and then we have back here, like a fridge thing, I guess, with this storage. Um, and then lots of cargo spaces um, and all of our systems. Uh, and then this is kind of the typical, like, systems in the back, uh, type thing. Is there actually no door to the ship? That's... Oh! Oh, I got you, got you, got you. Okay. I, I just want to see... That's really sneaky. I like it. Okay. Um, and we fly over here. Okay. Wow. 
Wow, and boy is that smooth. Nice, okay. That's really cool. Um, let us head on to the next ship then, which is over here. I'm guessing it has the same uh, sort of door. Ooh, yeah, the doors is left open this time. So, that's good. That is very good for us. Mm hmm and it closes. Um, we have a gravity here. Uh, so yeah, it's basically the same in, uh, cockpit. I think it's a bit larger though. Um, but yeah, clean hallways as always. You have these support beams. Even just these support beams um, sort of uh, break up the, the hallways, which is very nice. Uh, good desks over here for the systems. That's always fun to have these desks. Um, and then we have uh, position lights. I don't know what those are, but oops, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, this this one looks almost like a little bit fancier. Um, yeah, if I if I say so, but but yeah, really cool, really cool details. Um, it, it has a nice uh, clean clean sort of feel. Uh, which is always good. Let's hop out of this um, and find this button. There you go. Now let us... Who? where is the door going to be on this one? That is a tricky, tricky, tricky question. Uh, I'm just going to hop here and look for it. Um, I don't know. These look like that's cool. Okay, so these look like very very small mining drones. Um, so that's always fun. Um, oh, here's a door. Okay. So we have a launch mining drones button, uh, which is nice. Um, and then we have this core room. Uh, I like the way you do core rooms. It's not like uh, necessarily it's a good style it's not necessarily like this over the top thing uh, uh, it's just sort of in the common area um, which can also be pretty cool uh, and it's consistent across your build so that's nice here we have a little bathroom um, nothing over there um, and here we have crew quarters um, yeah so the interior of the ship is pretty small um, but that is that is that's fine um, Oh wait, the interior only takes up like this space over here. And yeah, this doesn't undock, which would be nice. But yeah, so the, I guess the entirety of the ship is a giant mining beam and then a bunch of engines um, attached to it, uh, which is which is pretty cool. But um, but yeah, I like I like the consistent style of the uh, docking uh, for the sort of or not docking because it's not actually docked but the docking for the cargo crate but it would be nice if the cargo crates could um undock so i would i would just say that um it would have been a nice touch let's see where the doorway is here because it's always nice to enter in the direction that the builders wanted you to enter uh so airlock um kind of interesting it looks like an airlock though you have all the fans and stuff like that uh, so sort of smaller common area sort of um, but this looks like a fun fun little computer and we have a table over here and the cockpit now this cockpit looks similar similar excuse me um, but it is uh, it is it is is, is different enough um, to give this ship like a special special sort of uh, sort of vibe um, but yeah I like the ship a lot um, and these are AMS turrets and these are some really nice AMS turrets um, so that's that's very cool uh, yeah they're, they're super flush with the ship so I'm going to head into this last ship oh this is unfinished or something went wrong with the docking yeah, you never put in the uh, USDs in here. Oh, not, it's not good. Yeah, so this ship, this ship uh, sort of follows the same same vibe as the other ones. Um, ooh, you can look down into the core room. This, I'm excited for that. Um, but this one might be too clean, or like the the area is too big to have the same exact style. 
So for this, you might want to have like some hole changes. Um, uh, like, like here, like here, like this. This looks, this looks really good. Um, and that, and that, right up there. Uh, so here we have the bridge. Um, so similar bridge, but larger uh, style. And we have these uh, computers over here. Uh, rotate. Okay, yeah, that's what I, I, I thought. This thing could rotate. So I'm gonna have to go um, inside of it now and check that out. This might be a little bit of a longer video. Uh, sorry about that, but I was up here. Okay, up here and here. Okay, I'm. Oh no way I can see it. Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna go to the core of this ship. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh whoa, that's kind of crazy. Oh, and it just continues to rotate. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. That's airlock. Uh. Let's go down this way. Okay. So these are pretty cool. This central stair system, uh, is very good for organization of the interior of the ship. Uh, I like it a lot. Um. We have our medical bay here. Um, and we have our little canteen here. Uh, let's head. Wait, I think I missed a room up here. Yeah. Okay. Or was I in here? I forget. Uh, this is the bathroom. We have that. And I'm guessing the same thing on the other side. Okay. So let's head down here. Um, and we have a transporter room. Wow, this is a nice, nice, big, um, sort of designated transporter room. Um, and, and also, so I like the style that you've been doing your computers in. Um, they're all sort of laid out like this with the slabs on either side. Uh, so it's a nice, like, clean way to do the computer. Before I get in the core, uh, this is really cool with that light. Uh, before I get in the core... I'm going to see this room. Okay, so it's a, just a similar um, sort of uh, barracks area or crew quarters. So let's head over here. Is there anything I did miss? Um, I don't think so. Oh, did I miss this? How did I miss this? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so we have a, a cool little uh, cargo space right here. So let's head up to the um, the bridge and rotate it right. Oh wow, okay, so that's cool. Because it, it kind of looked weird when it was just like up straight. Oh, that's why it was glitching out. Hmm, okay. Um, then let us undock this. And... Pull this out. Okay. Rotate right. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, okay, so this is probably going to look a lot better when it's rotated. Let's make sure it's, yeah, it's fully clear. Um, those antennas, though, on the bottom are absolutely sick. Um, and same with all these engines. Wow. Um, but yeah, especially those antennas, uh, it can be difficult to make like antenna, not only the just the antennas, but like the antenna sort of larger structure that they're all part of, um, look good. And that, that looks really awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I hope you all like this video. This was, uh, Schnell, uh, Schnellbeers, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Uh, first fleet submission. So there's one more, um, for, for, for them. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you next time.